आप सभी को हमारे एक स्टूडेंट से मिलवाऊंगा जिनका नाम है क्षितिज श्रीवास्तव जिन्होंने टेंथ स्टैंड सीबीएसई बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन मार्च 2018 में 96.20 स्कोर किया है एंड द स्पेशल थिंग इज दैट कि उन्होंने मैथमेटिक्स में 100 आउट ऑफ 100 स्कोर किया है जो एक परफेक्ट स्कोर है सो इट इज अमोंग 0.1 परसेंटेज ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स ओनली थ्रू आउट द इंडिया हु स्कोर 100 आउट ऑफ 100 फॉर व्हिच ही गॉट सर्टिफिकेट फ्रॉम सेंट्रल बोर्ड एंड आल्सो ही गॉट एपी मिश्रा मेमोरियल अवार्ड सो आज वो हमारे साथ यहां पर कुछ टिप्स एंड स्टडी प्लान शेयर करेंगे जो काफी यूजफुल होगा जो स्टूडेंट्स इस साल बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन देने वाले हैं और जो नेक्स्ट ईयर बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन देने वाले हैं सो प्लीज सी दिस होल वीडियो टू गेट द टिप्स फ्रॉम हिम दैट यू कैन फॉलो थ्रू आउट द ईयर एंड ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट मिनट प्रिपरेशन होप इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू थैंक यू फॉर मास्टर क्षितिज रंजन श्रीवास्तव ही स्कोर 100 मार्क्स इन मैथमेटिक्स इन द एआईएसएस एग्जामिनेशन Our pillar and strong support, Mrs. Usha Trivedi, ma'am, here to felicitate him with a special AP Mishra Memorial Trophy. Can we have a huge round of applause? We have our own Inaz Aryabhata. Hello, this is Shrijit Srivastav and I am currently studying in Vibram Ayans Institute. I had given my board exam in March 2018 and I had scored 96.2% overall and 100 out of 100 in maths. I am here to give the students of 9th standard who are going to be promoted to 10th standard soon so, and the students of 10th standard who are going to give board exams in March some tips and tricks for last minute preparations and also for the 9th standard students. So the first tip here is to start early. Start early means starting uh, starting early as soon as your 9th is finished, 9th exams are finished. You start preparing for 10th, like you start studying the syllabus, what is there. Then you start studying the topics via the internet, maybe you don't have the books now, you can check the site and you can see the syllabus. So that puts you in a time frame, frame for like you tells your mind that yeah now I'm in 10th I have to gear up also the thing is that this gives you a head start on everyone else there's also another thing you may have some emergencies in, in this year which may forbid you from studying from, for some time so now the portion that you will do at that time will be covered up now so it's better to do this second thing is to have a mentor have a mentor will be anyone like a teacher, a classmate, like a friend or a, or your parents. Having a mentor is good because they give you emotional support when you need it the most. Or sometimes you feel lonely on our journeys. So that's why you should have a mentor. Also, you should keep your concepts clear. Concepts clear, by concepts clear, I don't just mean knowing what is in the chapter. I mean knowing how the problems answers are derived the problem how you actually do the problem it's not like memorizing the sum it's how you do it you should know how to do it and you should not memorize the sum you should understand the topic also um, yeah, you have to do your preparation and revision in such a way that all your chapters are getting covered if you're doing a new chapter you are doing solving the sums yeah. then you should not ignore the previous chapter sums like if you are doing from chapter 3 if you are solving sums from chapter 3 then you should not forget about chapter 2 and chapter 1 you should also for solve sums from those chapters also another tip is to encircle the questions which you find difficult this is for quick revision when you have your school exams etc Another tip will be to not neglect your school books like NCRT since these are the backbone of the syllabus you'll get most of the questions from NCRT only it's not, I'm not saying you should not study question banks but you should not neglect NCRT it is the one thing you should do first when you're studying a chapter you should study it from NCRT first since this forms the backbone of your syllabus and if you don't do it you may miss out on some important points and you should do all the solved examples and exercises 
another thing is to some students skip steps in a in a problem like it shows that they may have a their brain may function fast but you should not do it in on your paper since it may show that you have memorized your answer or you may have cheated so you should write full steps and all the theorems you have used in brackets another thing is about the presentation about your paper of your paper the paper should be neat and clean it should does not it is does not need to be artistic it your handwriting may just should just be readable and your presentation should be good your paper should be neat in the sense that there there is no smudge marks on it you have not scribbled on the paper you have not double written on it if something goes wrong you should only just put a slash on it and with a pencil not with a pen since this makes the paper look dirty so that's for the presentation you should not make your paper look dirty also some people say that give you a specific order of questions in which you should complete the paper like you do section d first then you do section a i think that you should make your own order in which you will complete the paper since this will be the order in which you will be the most comfortable in you should do this when you are practicing your steps practicing your sample papers and so that's what it is it's not like you should follow someone else's steps because you should invent your own methods on how to do sums and how to solve your paper then i have some last minute tips for some people who for some of the students who now have the board exams approaching now you should have completed your syllabus by october at max then now you have four months remaining november december january and february these four months are for your doubt clearance and for brushing up on your knowledge on your previous chapters you should now what you should do now is just revise 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 and when you and when you revise you'll get doubts and then you should clear those doubts with your teachers the school may not will probably complete your portion till december but you should not wait for the school you should complete your portion till october at most so that now that you may will have doubts because you will do further study on those things so you will have to ask those doubts and clear them for yourself so when you have to clear them yourself you get extra time so that's for so you get time for doubt clearance and your concept is clear when like like you are giving this what do you say the paper one month before the paper you are like the exam is approaching the heat is on you should not be too stressed at this time you should be calm because now is the time you have to do the this is the integral time one month before the exam you have to do you know things you know every most of the things but now you have to brush up on the knowledge you know 80% and you have to work on the 20% like now for maths you have to study 2 to 3 hours at most during the one month during this one month you may have some difficult chapters in which you are not well versed in like so you have you give one, your one and a half hours out of 2 to 3 hours one and a half hours you give to these important chapters that you don't know how to do properly and one and a half hours to the other chapters so this will makes improve your preparability preparedness for the portion and you will know all the chapters not like you know the hard chapters now and you forgot it of easy chapters so you'll know the entire portion now what to do 5 days before the exam you'll get around 4 to 5 days before the maths exam now what to do is basically two you'll get 5 days so two days you give for your course book that is your ncert you practice each and every sum out the exercises and the solved examples so you are thorough with ncert for in the first two days last three days what you can do is you will have solved some sample papers in is from earlier on you look at those sample papers look at how you have done those questions then look at how your question banks have you how in the question banks they have done it look at previous years papers solve them solve solve one or two question papers did sample papers during this time and see how you are prepared this will give you some motivation motivation so that you can actually do well in the exams then 
the night before the exams you should not stress too much you should if you're feeling it too much you should talk to someone because you should not be stressed before the exam the night before the exam sleep well at least five to six hours wake up reach the exam hall early take your admit card stationery everything that you need take a stencil for the triangles stencil you get it anywhere in the stores and take a stencil take a long roller etc you'll you'll know that and go for the exams reach the center one hour early sit for sit in your place and try to relax you will be stressed but try to relax when you get the paper read it thoroughly read it thoroughly you will get confidence on what you can do in the paper you will be confident once you read the paper start attempting it attempt it in an orderly manner don't don't be indecisive about what you are going to do in the questions since you have already practiced it you should practice the questions that you have already done like you will have an option like this or this so you may know what of those but please do go for the easier one since it has more probability of you getting more marks and if you have any problems in any questions leave them for last since they may take up your time if you do them in the middle of the exam so first do what you already know and then do the those questions which you don't know this will increase your confidence since you have already done these questions first and now that you are doing the those second the questions that you didn't know you will now may you may be able to solve those now so that's it if you want to i have shared some tips if you want to score 100 out of 100 in mathematics i wish you all the best for your upcoming board examinations thank you